We start out our life on this planet connected with everyone and everything, living life fully, playing, dreaming, having a great time. Young kids. I remember when I was about six years old, my favorite thing in the world was to go to my cousin's house. And they had this crawl space under the stairs, and we'd pile all the cousins in there, and we'd pretend that the silver insulation and the ducting was the inside of our spaceship. It was an incredible time. Anything was possible. In fact, I was so sure that by the time I was an adult, I would be able to have a spaceship in my own garage and go into space whenever I want to. Of course, as you grow up, some of that connection that you feel with everyone and some of the dreaming and the playing, unfortunately, too, starts to dim down a little bit. And I can remember in junior high, uh, I started to get really concerned about the Earth's environment. I remember at the time in the 80s, we were really worried about the ozone hole and the burning down of the rainforests uh, and the acid rain. And I, and I remember just being so overwhelmed. Like, I didn't, I didn't know where to start. You know, how could I do something about all this? And at 12 years old, I made a decision that the best way I could help my planet was to focus on space. I had this idea that we could use space to bootstrap ourselves up. And by doing that, we could solve all of our problems all at once. 12-year-old thinking, of course. I had this idea that people on Earth could be inspired by model cities in space that were recycling 100% of their air and water and plastics and materials, and that we could have satellites going around the Earth that are monitoring our planet and letting us know the impact of our actions, and that people could see the harsh, airless, waterless vacuum of space and stop taking clean air and clean water on Earth for granted. And most important, I saw that people could look at that pale blue dot hanging in the vast emptiness of space and maybe feel that connection with all of humanity once again, no matter how different they might seem. So, for me, space is the ultimate blank slate. In space, anything is possible. We can create anything. You know, we're on the verge of just writing an inciting, exciting new chapter in human history. We're on the cusp, we live in an exciting time where we're going to set in motion that future for humanity. You know, right now we're just a single planet species that hasn't even visited the nearest star. We're like babies in the galactic scale. But what are we going to set in motion? What are we going to do with that opportunity? You know, the precedence that we set in this next era as we start to take our first steps into space, are going to have a profound impact on the future of our species. You know, we're going to set a tone for what kind of society we're going to be when we're scattered out and run 12 different star systems. What do you want to do with that opportunity? For me, what inspires me is putting out the best of humanity, you know, bringing out the best of us, what inspires all of us, just like we did when that first man walked on the moon. Ultimately, my goal is to create a civilization that every single one of us would be proud to spread to other planets, bringing out the best of humanity, our generosity, our curiosity, our creativity, and ongoingly giving up those things that don't work for us. As Yoda would say, the dark side of the Force, fear, anger, aggression. Imagine what kind of a universe that would be. And I really think that's the most precious resource we have in outer space, is that opportunity to create a, a future, to design what we want the future of our species to look like. You know, we could come together as a planet and create an inspiring, space-faring future for humanity, like we've seen in Star Trek and Star Wars in 2010. Or we could turn inward and evolve and create the future in Blade Runner or Mad Max Beyond the Thunderdome. What excites me most about creating an inspiring future for humanity is that it's going to take more than rocket equations and orbital mechanics. It's going to take person after person after person choosing to take on the future of humanity. It's going to take a critical mass of people taking on breaking down the barriers between us, giving up the resignation that can stifle us, and working to create an evolved species capable of being an awesome steward of ourselves, of our home planet, and far beyond. And my favorite part about the whole thing is that when we're out in the universe being a responsible galactic civilization, the experience for all of us will be getting to be like little kids again. 
being able to connect with anyone and everyone, free again to play, to love, to dream, and to fly wherever our imaginations will take us. Thank you.